wanted to go ahead and just give you some examples of easy strategies for lighting. And lighting is a great tool to increase contrast, which also allows a person to increase their acuity or clearness of vision. So one example is the under-counter strip light. That's a simple item that, that can be picked up at Walmart. It provides increased task lighting when you're working in the kitchen. Um, another example, and this is one of those items that you can purchase through some of the product catalogs, is a, it's called a Big Eye Lamp. It's on a gooseneck. It has a high intensity 40 watt light bulb, but it also has a 2X lens for magnification and then a booster lens 3X so the two together give you about a 5X magnification. A lot of times this is helpful because the item allows you to use both of your hands. It frees things up. And you can position the gooseneck around plus have the added light. So those are a couple examples of adding some extra light, task lighting to help. Another example um, to help with use, another example that helps with using contrast is that black and white cutting board that we talked about earlier. So if you put an item that is lighter color onto the black surface, that's going to give you the contrast and it's going to allow you to cut into the item um, easier and to be able to see it. And on this, we went ahead and did some high marking for the half cup, the one cup, the two cup. That's a simple thing to add for the liquid measuring cup. That's another example of using contrast and, and marking. And that's even tactile. It looks like yes. it sticks out. Gives you a bump. You could, yeah, good. So if you know the lower is going to be your half, the next up will be one, and then the further up will be two once it's set up. So those are a couple ideas. Um, a lot of times my patients are wanting to have us address the reading. Um, and there are a lot, variety of optical aids and items that are out. Um, I work under the plan of care of an optometrist or ophthalmologist. So if I'm introducing any optical aids, it's with their you know, recommendation, it's with their supervision. But one item that actually cost-wise isn't too bad that a lot of times my patients can't afford is a basic closed-circuit TV. This is actually a regular television that the item has been set up with. It's almost like a little mouse. This is called a MaxAid. And what it does is it increases the print size. It's got like a little camera underneath. And it increases the print size so when you scroll across, you're able to then read the print. And it also changes the contrast. So the first one was like a negative contrast. And then this is just maybe a little bit of a sharper white background. And for everyone, it's going to be different what works best for them. And this will actually even go up a little bit. So that could be used to read your mail, yes. to, to read a newspaper, to read a recipe. Right. And we usually recommend with these type of devices, because it is time consuming and there's a lot of energy that goes into it, that it's going to be more short reading, task reading. Okay. Um, reading the newspaper, we, you know, a lot of times if there's certain articles you like to read, then yes. But if it's reading the whole newspaper, it might be a bit cumbersome and difficult. So we would make recommendations of alternative resources for that. Okay. And then I just put a variety of some different things that a lot of times our patients are not aware of or don't even think. Um, just to give an example of adaptive equipment and optical aids. Kind of going back to, we talked about um, increasing contrast so that our individuals can see things a little bit sharper, a little bit brighter. This is an example of the yellow just fit over filters. A lot of times my patients are familiar with those. Um, there's different colors. This is a yellow. You know, a, a lot of times in the shooting sports, yes. they use the, the yes. yellow lenses because it does sharpen things. Right. Yeah. Hunters, uh, uh, people who fish, a lot of times will be more familiar with these type of devices. <clears throat> um, and there's an uh, example of the amber. 
So what this does is it increases the contrast, but it also reduces the glare because frequently with the individual who has low vision, it's a combination. You know, if there's too much glare coming into the window, it reduces their vision. So you want to cut the glare down, but not get rid of the contrast. And a lot of times by adding the colored filters, that allows that to happen, whether it's inside the home or outside um, when the individual might be mowing their yard, gardening, or driving. Um, there are talking devices. It's 3.39 p.m. Talking watches, talking clocks, talk, there's liquid level indicators that tell you when you're filling up a cup that it's coming up to the edge of the cup. There's all sorts of auditory um, devices and, and adaptive equipment. Is there a website or a catalog that people could look at, you know, to find there's some actually, of these things? There's um, I, with our program, I will give out a whole reference mm -hmm. of different um, product catalogs. There are three catalogs that I always bring out and leave with my patients so that they can look through. Um, and they keep, a company send them to us, and I can certainly provide that information to you if you mm -hmm. want to add that at the end of sure. um, this yeah. um, episode. We talked about the sock locks. Those are the little clip-ons so that you don't disorganize your black, brown, yeah. <laughs> navy socks. Uh, threading a needle is frequently something that my patients will tell me they no longer can do. This is actually a needle threader. The thread, the uh, spool of thread goes here, and then it gets wrapped around. The little petal will push the thread through the eye of the needle. You pull the needle out. So there's just, a, a again, just a variety of things. And it's going to be contingent on the person and what their needs are. Okay. A lot of times my patients are all about, can I get a magnifier? And, mm -hmm. you know, we don't prescribe optical aids, um, but we can provide training for optical aids. So depending on what the ophthalmologist or optometrist is recommending, um, we will bring out some of the magnifiers and devices and provide training so that they can become more efficient. Um, with using. But so that, that's not only a magnifier, that's got a light, light in it. Yeah, so you've got the best of everything. It's an LED light, and this particular magnifier would stand on the paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one is a handheld with an LED light, and again, it would not stand on the paper. Um, but it's going to come up off the page. And again, depending on the amount of magnification, what's going on with the person's vision, placement of this will vary. But this is portable, so it's nice for our patients to be able to take something out or put in you know, um, their pocketbook or throw in the glove compartment if they're going out to dinner or going to church, and they can take the magnifier with them. So it's good to have something for home. It's good to have something that is portable. Okay. You know, we talked about, you know, um, a variety of things, but some of the simple strategies are just making things bigger. Okay. So an example of a large print check register. You can purchase these through the product catalogs. Our print shop here at the hospital makes them. And so frequently I will issue out some for our patients if it's appropriate. Um, but to give you an example, the top line is in small print with a regular pen. The other line is in bolder print with a Sharpie marker. Okay, So using black on white, making things bigger, those are all simple strategies um, that can be provided to allow the individual to use their vision as effectively as possible. A large print telephone and address book. Bold line paper with the black felt marker or sharpie marker. Mm -hmm. That allows the patient to be able to see line placement. Frequently they will say when I write a note or a list, I'm all over the place because it's hard to coordinate that eye-hand coordination. So sometimes using strategies like this will allow them to um, be able to complete required writing um, better. And then this is just one last example of making things bigger. Wow. Um, our print shop makes up the large print calendars, 
and we will issue these out to our patients. And again, what this does is it allows them to not have to struggle with being able to see, okay? Um, plus it's important for, you know, our patients to be able to write things down, appointments and stuff, and be able to see that. Sure. So th those are just a variety of examples of some, you know, like I said, adaptations, modifications, and adaptive equipment. Um, just to, you know, let people know there's so much out there and available um, to consider that they may not have. And there is hope. Absolutely. And that's one of the biggest things that my patients always share with me. You know, that we just, you know, increase their confidence um, because we give back their independence and their ability to function. That's great. Thank you so much, Becky. Thank you for having me. Sure.